Hi everyone. In a previous video, I did show how you can live stream a USB camera video through your Raspberry Pi over the internet. And you can access it on your local network or port forward it and access it over the internet. One of my viewers asked how we can have that stream start as the Raspberry Pi starts without having to manually start that live stream. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. Um, in, instead of like manually starting the live stream, what if your Raspberry Pi is restarted or rebooted? Can we have that live stream automatically starts? By the way, this method will apply to other applications as well. So it's not only to this live stream, but I'm going to be using that live stream as an example. If you want that original video or the original instructions, I will have them linked in the description. Now, let's move to the new instruction on how we can get that start on as the Raspberry Pi starts. And in order to do this, we need to create a system service file. To do that, this is the command, and we are going to create that file and have some code in it. Let's go ahead and uh, I am remote into my Raspberry Pi. I have my terminal window over here, and I'm going to copy this first command, and we will just paste that over here. Now, let's hit enter, and you can see I've already filled out this file to make things go faster for the purpose of the video. But here, I'm going to go over this real quick. I have the code for you, so you can copy and paste, and you can see here, the configuration is really simple. Right here, we have just a description for our file. Uh, here we are telling it that to start after the network. And this is the username. So I'm using my Raspberry Pi username. Yours can be as simple as just Pi. So you can see here, you can modify the code here over the terminal. So let's say you would change the username to your username, for example, you can put pi or you can put whatever the username is. Uh, usually the default one is pi. The next part is going to be the directory. And this is the folder where your uh, streamer is in. Let me show you that here. So if I open the uh, Raspberry Pi folders I have here, you can see under the home, I have the text passion folder because that's the username for my Raspberry Pi. Yours might look different. And you can see here that we have the MJPJ streamer. This is what we used to stream the uh, live video in the previous video. Again, link in the description if you want to get the part one of this uh, video. Uh, again, if you want to apply this for other applications, the method will still be the same. I'm just going to use the live stream as an example to help out my viewers who asked about it. Now, uh, the next part here is going to be the command that we are using to run this. And again, this command was mentioned over here in the previous uh, video on the instruction section. So let me show you that over here. Um, this is the path, by the way, where we are navigating to it. And this is exactly the command. So it's just a copy and paste from that. Now, let's go back to our instructions. Here, we're saying to start it after a restart always, and it takes 10 seconds after a restart. This is how long it takes. You can modify this if needed. Uh, make sure you save this by pressing Control X, and then click Yes or Y for Yes, then hit Enter. Let me show you how that is done. Let me go ahead and put my uh, username again and make sure spell that correctly. Then control X, press yes, Y, and then enter. That's how you save that file. So you're going to copy and paste this configuration. You change probably the username and maybe the location, maybe not. If you used the exact instruction from my previous video, you don't even have to change the location. You just need to change the username. Make sure you also change the username over here um, for your Raspberry Pi. Now, let's go ahead and move forward here. And the next step would be to enable and start the service. The first one, we are going to reload the system so we can have the file recognized. So we're going to use this command here. 
to make sure that we are reloading and having our system recognizing that file that we just added. I want to hit enter. And then we need just to enable the service to start own boot. So let's go ahead and copy this command and copy and paste that over here. And then that's it. Very much we're done here. Uh, all we need is we need to start the service. So I'm going to copy this command over here to start the service. Also, if you reboot or restart your Raspberry Pi, that will also automatically start your service. But we don't have to do that for the purpose of the video. I'm just demoing this. I'm going to manually start the service over here. And that's it. To check the status, I have a command over here for you to check the status of the service. Also, to stop it or start it again, there are a couple of useful commands here at the bottom. So let me just copy that over to check the status. And here, everything looks good and running and enabled. That's a good sign. Um, and then also, let me... Uh, so Control-C to exit out of that, by the way. And let me just also use the stop command to stop the service, just to show you how that will work. And now the service is stopped. We can obviously um, use the start command to start it again. Uh, that's very much it, and that's how you have it. If you have it enabled and you start it, now if your Raspberry Pi is rebooted or if it gets restarted, the service or the live stream will automatically start and you can access that from the same URL. If you want to learn more about that video and the original instructions is going to be linked, like I mentioned in the description and uh, we'll leave it below here. Uh, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.